Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. I have got a very, very interesting knife uh, to show you guys today. This is, there we go, it's the Knock Knives NT29 Starship. Now, this is very, very aptly named because this is a very, very futuristic uh, looking knife in my book. Now, you're looking at titanium construction, titanium backspacer, titanium pocket clip. You're pretty much titanium all around. It is a right hand tip up carry only. And you can see that you have a very, uh, what I consider, long front flipper on it. We'll definitely, definitely talk about that a little bit more here soon. But mainly, mainly open construction, a little bit. Um, no real spot for a lanyard, so sorry for our lanyard fans. Um, construction seems to be done very well. Centering, on point, absolutely. Everything chamfered off very nicely. As you can see, there's kind of a, there's a lot going on in this. You got some milling going on up here, but everything has, is done very, very well. It's cut down, buffed down. And feels overall pretty darn good. I do like how slender the knife is. It makes it for a really, really good grip. Um, but now we're going to talk about something that I'm really... Well, it, it, comes over, it comes down to overall size. For me, my opinion, this knife is made for larger hands. It's a large knife. We'll do a, we'll do a, a spec checks here in a minute. But for me, I grab the knife just like so. This is how my hand naturally grabs it. For me to front flip it, as you can see, that long front flipper comes in contact with my finger. Now, this is comfortable. This is a comfortable grip for me. And you know me, I talk about ergos and comfort. That's number one for me. Well, in the comfortable grip, I can't front flip it. So I have to move my hand way back, about, yay, about right there. Stretch my thumb out and then flip it. So for my hand size, this is not an ideal size knife. Um, it flips very easily because, well, I mean, you have a high leverage point there, so it should. Um, as you guys know, uh, these are the type of front flippers that kind of originally turned me off from front flippers. Um, now, of course, we're seeing a lot more low-profile front flippers that flip very easily, and I've really gotten, you know, I've kind of become accustomed to them. But as you can see, in my comfortable grip, I cannot front flip this knife. So for me, this is more of a locking in, uh, in nah, what am I trying to say? Friction folder. Yeah, wasn't coming to me. This is more of a locking friction folder for me. Now, I know it's not. I know it's a front flipper, but due to my hand size, it pretty much is. Now, like I said, can I flip it like this? Yes, absolutely. Is it comfortable? Not overly. And it's kind of awkward. And I mean, sure, could it be me and my coordination? Absolutely. There, That could play into it. But it's just not the most comfortable for me to flip due to what I'm saying is a result of my hand size. See, I just moved my hand up again and I lost it. But okay, so enough about that. You were, we, I made my point with the front flipper. So like I said, this is a pretty good size knife. I mean, we're coming down, this is nine inches. So yeah, it's coming right in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine inches. Your handle is coming out to, <coughs> excuse me, just over five, pretty much almost five and a quarter. So that's going to give us just shy of a four inch blade, three and three quarters ish. Tanto blade M390. There you go. M390. Do have a swedge. It's, 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 it's a big knife. It's a very, very large knife. Now, you guys know I, t I trend towards the smaller knives to begin with. So there you go. I'm going to put it up against the PM2. That's about the, as large a knife as I carry. And as you can see, the Starship definitely, definitely much, much longer. Obviously more slender 
as well. I do like the slender part of it. Absolutely. And then, of course, it's going to be much, much longer than the bug out. So now, um, like I said, my normal grip is right about here. So as you can see, I have plenty left over. Um, that's kind of where I'm going to call the natural grip point. So I'm seeing right there. I mean, yeah, that's four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. If you wanted to go up further, I mean, there you go. You're looking at a five inch handle. So a five inch grip length if you want to get up there right on the blade. My hand kind of falls naturally right there. You know, my finger kind of falls on the right there where the liner is. That's just kind of, ooh, I did it. I did it without hitting me. Oh, I did it. Nice. Oh, I really have to pull that finger back though. Oh, there, I got myself. Anyway, anyway, wait. Let's do a wait. Let's see what we get on it. Um, it is, it is. It's just made for larger hands as far as I'm concerned. Now, that, that protruding front flipper, you know, that's, that's not really my jam. 4.8 ounces, so it's not super heavy. It's slender, so that's going to definitely cut down on some of the weight. Pocket clip, pocket clip, I'm not overly happy with the pocket clip as you can see there we go it, obviously when you have the pants on and you're over the top of it it is much easier gotta say that but you do have a decent amount sticking out i mean it's not a deep carry clip so you will have a little bit sticking out of your pocket just the way it is nothing no issue there um but overall overall like i said ah there we go the <sighs> This portion of the ergonomics and the grip is good. No issue. I don't have any issue with the pocket clip. It's far enough back that I really don't come in contact with a lot of the clip. I'm just getting, you know, maybe the front half right there. Not bad at all. It feels pretty good. Um, over it, like I said, it's definitely a long knife. So larger hands. The action, the action is, it's a dropper. So... Where my portion comes in with the action is actually the actuating. Oh, I really have to reach out there to get a good leverage point because if I stay low on it, I'm not making it. As you can see there, my finger comes in contact with that point of the handle. I really have to reach out there and give it a good flick to, to actuate it. So like I said, kind of for me, it's more of a locking, rolling friction folder i know that's not the intention of knock knives and it's just the way i interact with the knife those of you with larger hands have a little bit longer reach with your th with your thumb i'm sure you will will have little to no issue with it uh, that's my thinking I, I don't know it just makes sense to me so but overall for me probably Probably not one that I would end up having in my collection. Just, just due to size and that alone. So, uh, I do... Oh, these... Uh, I forgot to tell you the price. These sell for... Oh, shoot. 349 329 349 That's what they're going for. There'll be a link down in the description. Please feel free to go check it out. Uh, but the MT-29 Starship from knock knives i do have to appreciate it uh they were very generous in sending this one out uh, for us to check out greatly greatly appreciate it I, I will end up giving it away at some point on the channel so stay tuned for that but i really appreciate I i'd really like to hear what you guys think let me know down in the comments what do you think what's your take on the starship from knock knives always appreciate you stopping by Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.